If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Oh, man. She's going there. Which is why I can't let that happen. But if she did it... Then we're all dead. She gets away, though. Fuck! Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no okay. reason to kill anyone. That would have been a hell of a twist, guys, if she just admitted to it. We had to decide between... Ugh. Ugh. Decide between letting her go and possibly being able to shut down the school or having her die. For letting us live. Fuck! This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Point an accusation. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! <laughs> anyway. Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So, that was her motive? Makes sense. She had a motive, and no alibi. Well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Uh, she's got something. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. The tarp, I bet. Someone could have put a tarp over the body. What are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. A certain something at the scene was used to cover the body. Could it have been... The sprinklers! The tarp. I got it! You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. But... If it's covered in water, why would it get dirty? It would be clean. The Couldn't side it? that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? The body? Wait. Something's not right. Body had blood on it. And what might that be? Can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. There was the tape too. I wonder. Oh, I don't know. By covering the body with the tarp. Knife. The killer prevented it from getting wet. 
so the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side was the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. Huh. In the tarp somewhere. I'm not sure about this song By yet. covering the body with the tarp. Right the body the killer the prevented sort of body it from analysis. getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the. Hold on. Can I look at yeah? Sort of body analysis. No. When the body was found. No. I'm just trying to see if there's something about the blood. Yeah, these pieces of evidence. But the underside of the tarp. It Body was before totally the explosion. Spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since Oops. it was facing down toward the bottom, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> of course, it didn't get dirty. Yes. 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 Actually. One side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. And it wouldn't be dirty. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Huh? Yeah, right, because it's probably the blood of the head that, that killed them. The blood was camouflaged. This is... What if, getting complicated. after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. Oh, the blood might have been from the chicken. Uh, I think one of you guys was kind of mentioning this in the comments section. This might be the case. Interesting. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. Yeah. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? Didn't we get rid of them then? No, that's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. He got blood from right there in the garden, right? Which must mean... Oh. I got it! Poor guy? Could it have been chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. Mm -hmm. So, you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. Uh, yeah. I wonder if the killer yes, had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Hmm. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. Yeah, but that... That coat looks like it's been draped on top of the body. The ground was completely clean. Could have been done elsewhere. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. It's also the tape with blood on it. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? 
When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they've already covered in blood. <laughs> this series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. It's Biakuya, I think. That's, that's what I'm rolling with right now. He even said that he went to the garden. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. No! Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? But That's not... No! Don't bother saying it's not possible. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. We're so fucked, guys. And the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Okay. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. That's real smart, Hero. Oh! See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. Shit. It's gonna make us look even worse. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I, I don't want it anyway. Hmm, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? She suggested it. Huh, me? It Kyoko suggested the it. The knife we gave to Makoto? Fuck, 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 fuck. She's, she's setting us up? She's setting us up. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... Couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. Thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Well, thousand percent convinced. That's a lot of percent, guys. Considering everything up till now, I, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer.
It's the knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one that you gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Uh, just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So Maybe there's not. no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Maybe not. Maybe that's not what killed her. There's the blow to the head. The okay, knife um... we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really hold on. is, isn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Body before the explosion. Had a mask covering its head and a white jacket from the body. The knife had been thrust to the admin and there were blood stains around it. The body had stopped bleeding, but the blood was still wet. No blood on the ground around the body. Let's see it. What else do we have? If he did have that knife before, then that's exploded body analysis. Fuck. The Monokuma file is what we need. Struck in the head with an object, but as thick as a metal plate. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes the fragments are the bomb, right? No, it might be something I have to grab. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. Can grab it. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Okay, let me a little closer. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. What should if we grab? If you did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it! Just because I had the knife once? That automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a getting horrible man you stabbed is what killed her. Okay. The knife we found lodged in the It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I don't think I hit that with I it. There's only two things, though. If he did have that knife before, that seals it. Look, just because I had that automatically. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. Shit, 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 shit. You shit, took shit. that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. What do I hit him with? What do I hit him with? I feel like I want to prove the it. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? Oh, I just replaced it. I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the... Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? No. Fuck. Shoot! The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife, that seals it. Just because I that automatic. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. No. Right? Getting stabbed. Shoot. Contradiction. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. Um. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. Oh shit! If I didn't mean to shoot that. Have that knife before, I didn't mean to shoot that. Then that seals it. Just because I had that automatically. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. Fuck. 
Hmm, yes, I, I see. So what you're saying is, I have absolutely no idea. Shoot. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then try shooting. Uh... That seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had to back automatically make well, I have to grab this one. What killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you want to put up. Okay, okay. The knife we found lodged in the dead. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? Can I shoot? I was if he did have that, that seals it. Makoto okay, she's getting stabbed with getting stabbed. That like... automatically makes me the... Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. Fuck! Right? Shoot! What is the answer? The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was Oops. afraid of it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. What does the sky's dead body say? So this is just added. Where to place for the smoke shirt on? The suspect covered the body with the tarp, trying to forgetting wet. Later, when they removed the tarp, the suspect placed the white jacket on the body. The jacket had previously been treated with blood to make it look like the corpse had been wearing it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Um, did we hit it with that? Stabbed? Okay, I don't know. I already hit them with that one. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did just because I had the knife that automatically make well getting stabbed is what killed me. Oh yes! No, that's wrong. Yes! I thought I already used that one. <laughs> oh shit, I was so stumped, guys. Uh, Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. Uh, that should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? See, like, that doesn't really prove that they weren't stabbed to death, though, right? They could have been stabbed someplace else, the body could have been brought here, like... That's why I was so confused. The Monokuma file is the thing that refutes it more because it talks about a blow to the head. So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put That's on- That's fair enough, yeah. And she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Because the, the stab- the knife went through the coat and the body. But, I mean, still could have been stabbed beforehand and the knife could have been thrust in again. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her See? and once to cover it up. Me and Hero were, <laughs> were like the same fucking person. <laughs> we could be stabbed twice in the same spot. No, there's no way that's possible. Um... Let's just say it was stabbed once. Single time, great. I got it! The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. 
from the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. And that bomb came from the gym. So that really kind of implies that someone from the gym did it. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. I have a feeling Biakuya didn't have a lot of friends growing up. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion! Everyone loved Hero growing up, though. He had, like, a million friends. I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. There's only one explanation I can think of for the explosion. Um... I guess the fragments is what... I got it! After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. See? Look at Biakuya in the back. He's, like, plotting. I think it's him. It's part of a bomb. Oh! Then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. All comes back to Kyoko, guys. Hold on a second, Yakuya. But... What about you? What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. All right, guys, and we will continue the debate on the next episode of Danganronpa. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lucas Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.